So hello Epic Coders and today's video is going to be about how to create processors and what processors do. So these two processors are the um, things in this and there's only one strange processor in gravity that everyone needs to know about since like if you put an events jump bar it's going to come down or if you put it in here. So you want to put it right under define gravity if you use my define definition of gravity code and this one so first what you're going to do is that's the first processor and these are like 0.5 processors so this is going to be 0.25 and this is going to be another 0.25 and this is going to be a 0.5 and there are two processors in each row so these all together is our one processor but there is an other processor which is very helpful in your game and that processor is called the level, the number of deaths, the attempts, um, your sound when you come up, switch to backdrop one, go to X, this, show, and um, these are technically not um, processors, but this forever loop is, but not the things inside the forever loop, since that is a non function with your processors do but that is what the sensations okay so another um processor you can have is called score it's in other video um make sure to watch that video it teaches you all about score on scratch and make sure to visit it make sure to visit my other things which i did with score it's called gold coins and uh, uh, just go to your search bar on scratch and click score so make sure to do that so what these processors do is how it reacts so so my processors push the background one that's the f um so it sets my level to one it sets my number of deaths to zero and my n number of attempts to one well there's a difference between number of deaths and attempts so i'm not going to do a video on that since i already did one in variables and in my score variable one that is slightly harder than level and i already posted that video and it it there's a test on it in my website so make sure to go to my website and take the test if you'd like to so it's gonna uh, switch to backdrop one and it sets all these variables to their actual thing i wanted to go to so that is like 0.5 done and these other 0.5s are also my no that's no so it plays this and that's 0.5 and my other 0.5 parts of this second code is second processor i mean is play sound pop switch to backdrop one go to x negative 125 and y negative 111 and show in this forever loop which is in processor which does what everything inside it but that everything inside it is the sensation so it's not technically this one thing if such in green color it says this this is a result so that's not technically a processor so when i click on it it does it highlights all of my processors since like eh, it doesn't highlight these things since that's a processor and a function but the other things are just processors so that's what it does so um that's how you know if that's a processor <coughs> or not so that's the difference between these two and i think i'm just talking too fast today well i just did another video and i talk so slow so that's how you do processors in your game so that is the first processor and if you'd like more processors make sure make sure to tell me in my in my scratch account like just go to the my scratch account and comment down below what i'm missing since i don't think i'm missing any anything here well i have a doubt so i'm just asking you guys to check since like i don't think this is i think this is different well yes there is a different thing it's just please simply no oh no, sorry sorry there's nothing different so many people forget to put switch to backdrop one and it just tells you in another level and other backdrop as level one which is very confusing so make sure to do that and your first backdrop is your first level 
you, you can also put it as the second level if you think it's hard. So, like, the owner of each game to, can do that. If you're an owner of game, or you just like, like to know, like, the background knowledge of game. And you're watching this. Well, you don't have to take the test since you, you don't know how to code this. So, that's how you code processors. And I'm going to show you in quick, um visit my website since I got done with the video pretty quick so I'm gonna do that real quick right now so I'm gonna click in my um my actual thing I'm gonna click HTTPS these coins slash last site dot google dot com slash view slash epic coder and you click that in oh yeah I forgot to show you my search bar sorry and it tells you about the designer and like my designer who created this so that's how that looks and my codes I have created and it's actually links and tests since I didn't have anything in the hard to think codes thing I got rid of because first of all it didn't publish and second of all it did you didn't get access to it since it didn't publish. And these are the games and I'm gonna publish I'm gonna be publishing my well I already published that one. I'm gonna be publishing my zombie levels to this website so you can visit, play it and share it with your friends soon right after I'm done with this video. Oh yeah, I forgot about the silly thing. I just did a video and I'm gonna post it right now and this video. So I'm gonna post this over here. Well if you're watching this from my website, it's just like going over my website. But you know how and yes, if you like want to search up something, there's a search bar in this site that you can use. Pretty cool, huh? Now let's go back to scratch. No. Yeah, let's go back. So, thanks for watching and um, make sure to subscribe. And my conclusion's gonna come up right about now.